absolutely electric song <laughs> big time electric <laughs> if that doesn't get the juices flowing i don't know what does and that's inspired to you by edwin diaz yeah who is the closer, closer for the for the new york mets i hate the mets i, I, I don't you know do. yeah i don't know why like it, probably just because they're new york and i hate uh, i really hate the yankees I, they're not on that level no and they're probably not even in my top five most hated but definitely in my top 10 huh. i just never really like them but Edwin Diaz, I love. Yeah. And that walk-up song. Dude, that song is electric, especially on these nice headphones we got mm. in the studio here. Anybody listening that hasn't seen the clip of him coming into a game, this song is blasted over the whole stadium, obviously, when it's a home game in New York. Yeah. And since they're killing it this year, it's sold out every game. And everyone's on their feet clapping and waving flags. It's the most electric entrance in all of sports, in my opinion. It is. It is. And that's what, like, that's what everyone's saying, too. Like, everybody loves yes, it. Like, yes. Everybody there's... loves it. And then he comes in and gasses 102. Yeah. He throws, <laughs> yeah. he throws the ball 102 miles per hour and just, like, everyone's cheering Yeah, the you've whole got time. to be able to be good to have a song yeah. like that for yeah. your walk-up. So, Edwin, Edwin Diaz, uh, we respect you here at Jump Talk. How do you compare that to Romano's when the when the lights get dark? I can't remember the song. Got, but I've Romano's is kind it. of intense, too, a little bit. I I haven't got to see it live and they never show it on tv that's true yeah. so I don't, I don't know i think that was just yeah i started the season i seen it but yeah it's pretty good too but it's definitely nothing compared to what edwin diaz no that that's just that's just the best and that that song uh shout out to sags he found that song yeah center my way and we used it as an intro today so we're sags back from decep dimes yes we're coming already, very soon yeah we're talking with those boys already we're mm-hmm. Gearing up for another hell yep. of a season. Yep. Can't wait for that. Cannot wait. I think this past Sunday was six weeks until the first football Sunday. So I, I think less, isn't it? Maybe it was five. I think five because I know I get to see two football Sundays before I leave. Oh, really? Pretty sure. Yeah. Could probably. Be what, um, what day do you leave? September 26th, I think. Okay, yeah, you would see two. Yeah. yeah. I think the first Sunday is the 11th. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. So Let's come go. coming soon. We'll have episodes of that, and we're gonna have lots of lots of gambling content, lots of fighting as usual with those guys. That's just yeah. In, inevitable. Yeah, and um, bet stamp's gonna be clutch for that this bet year stamp's too. Bet stamp's gonna us. be clutch. Um, yeah. And we can we'll talk about bet stamp quick now because they are, again, the presenting sponsor of the show. We love bet stamp. It has yeah. been a, a bit of an addiction since we got it. I know. I love using the app. Like I almost just want to like. The thing is, I, I told myself I won't make any bets on there that I don't actually make yeah. in real life. Yeah, you, but man, is it ever tempting to just fire off like five no. a day? Like, yeah, I can't do it. Just to see the record and the units go up. But can't you, do it. No, you got to stay, uh, you gotta to stay true to it. You have to bet it. But yeah. yeah what's our, what's Chump's record right now? Uh, Chump's, I believe we're 11 and 3. 11 and 3. We lost so, last night. We, we didn't yeah, have, maybe we're 11 and 4 then. Did we have a play last night, actually? I don't know if we did have a play. I, don't, no. I, we, I wasn't we feeling don't, We don't have it. a play yet. Exactly. We don't have something unless we unless we like it. Which, today, and I want you to maybe even lock this in right now as we're recording, mm-hmm. Jay's minus 1.5 tonight. Uh, I was also talking to DSAB. He's heavy on this. I am so heavy on that. Really? Um, uh, obviously. You're... What's the thought process on that one? Just because of Manoa... how the things went last night in Manoa on the mound? Yeah, that's exactly it. Manoa has been a stopper all year. When you hear the term stopper in baseball, and we do have producer Dunk with us, and we're going to get to him in a second because he's yep. back from his, his big trip. Um, but when you hear the term stomping, stopping, like the stopper in baseball, mm. that's just like when an ace can come in and you're like in a bit of a slide maybe or you just came off a tough loss, which Jays did. And they just get the team back on track. Yeah. And it's obviously tough to be talking about this when the results are going to be known when you're listening to this. That's true. But uh, hopefully I'm right because I I know personally I will have. I love that too. I, I really love do. money on Jays minus one and a half. Personally. I thought the Jays were going to come out firing like the previous night. They And they and on Monday night, they their bats look good from okay, what yeah, I we saw. We do want to talk about the Jays right now. Yeah, we can talk about the Jays. But Monday night, like their their bats, they had something going every inning. The pitches just didn't. Like, they did, but like, they just never got the momentum because the pitching screwed them over Kikuchi. every time they got yeah. momentum. Kikuchi, Trevor Richards, and Trent Thornton were all in that game last night. And when all three of those players play in one Trevor game, Trevor Richards, I was mind boggled when he went in the game. It was in the eighth know. inning. The Jays just had a like a really good inning. What was the score? Uh, they were down by two at that point, but yeah. the Jays just had got a runner two the inning before. Mm-hmm. Had a bunch of guys on base. Like you could see the bats were yeah. were getting hot. And then Richards come in and walks a guy on five pitches, and it, base hit, and it's just like, holy shit, here we go again. And you can't even blame John John Schneider because, for one, they um, against that their four game series against Minnesota, Romano pitched two days in a row, and one of those outings was a two inning, so he wasn't pitching no matter what last night. Mm-hmm. And I believe same as Jimmy Garcia, 
because he pitched two days in a row with like high leverage. Yeah, so it was, was him and Simber warming up, and then Richards. Garcia and... was warming up. No, oh. Simber. Oh, okay. Simber and Richards. Yeah, which obviously I would have loved to see Simber. I know. In that scenario I know. instead of Richards, but uh, Jays, I, I love Whit Merrifield. Um, people bash that. Yes, I guess we haven't even talked deadline stuff yet, no. which is crazy. No, because we recorded before that. Yeah. No, I but think... either way, even if it was. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, Whit Merrifield. Um, He's I... exactly what they needed. He is, yeah, but batting wise, exactly what they needed was pitching, and they didn't really do that. So that's another issue. But but on the field wise, he's exactly. What I they I one hundred percent agree. And you can play a center field, which is awesome, especially mm-hmm. with Springer out for. I'm not really sure if they have a timetable no. on that yet. But just picked up Jackie Bradley Jr. But today. That, that was the thing with me watching Trevor Richards come into the game last night, though. It was still like, man, are we really going to contend for World Series and no. then have Trevor Richards coming in the eighth no. inning in a two-run ball game when Baltimore is like three games behind you? No. Like that to me, that was like okay. They didn't do what they needed to do at the deadline. Like I know guys need off days and shit, but mm-hmm. there's no circumstance I feel like like Trevor Richards' ERA is over five. Like nothing about his stats yeah, here yeah, have been yeah. good. Bring in Anthony like, Bass to me, there. To me, that was pop. just like yeah. They they're they can't contend for a World Series with Trevor Richards throwing a, an inning in the playoffs. And Trent Thornton, Tim Mesa. Yeah. Tim Mesa's hurt right now too, but he's been like he he is a good bullpen. They don't have pitcher. any lefties in no. the batting lineup or in the bullpen right now. Yeah, well, they have lefties. Not in the bullpen. No, not in the bullpen. No batting lineup. Yeah, they got they got lefties. Well, not in their like not in their like prime. No, probably not. prime nine. They no. don't have one lefty, which, which is whatever. But, yeah, they're okay with that. Yeah. I think. But, but yeah, that's uh, their bullpen is if it's got to be Romano on his game. Jimmy Garcia's looked awesome lately. He can be eighth inning guy. Mm-hmm. Anthony Bass, I liked his stuff. He's a seventh inning guy. Yeah, and then you got a combination of Simber. Uh, Pop, who they got from yeah, Miami. Yeah, that will be interesting. One. Yeah, and then uh, whoever else is down there. I know, like Tim. Mesa, remember, like, Gro- remember Groshans was the name last year. Everyone was like, "Oh, don't trade Groshans," mm-hmm. and how like his value just like yeah, it went from like a hundred to twenty. Yeah, that was uh, that's one you maybe look back on and maybe trade when he's younger. Yeah, but you never know. So no. who knows? That's that's they got two relief pitchers for him, so it's obviously yeah. not that high of value. Um, I think there's still guys they could pick off waivers to come in the bullpen if they can find some guys. Mm-hmm. And then maybe, I don't know if there's anybody in the minor leagues that deserves to come up and, and give a shot, but they got to do something. Maybe uh, Pearson, potentially? Yeah, if he, he's, he's not healthy again, no. though. He's, oh, really? Yeah, another setback? I think another setback. So Yeah, you can't really be counting he, on that I, I tried, whatsoever. I try anymore. not to think of his name, and then if he comes up, I'm happy. But if not, I just won't think about him. Yeah. Um, to move on to producer Dunk, though. Yes. Dunk is back in the house. Back in the house We've missed after you, a two week hiatus. Yeah, two episode, two yeah. episodes away away from us, I think. Help the boys do without me. Good. We had a we had a great episode actually. Yeah. Friday, Friday night we we got yeah, into Friday a, we came here. Got into a few studio. few beverages and we had like an hour long. Uh, like last Friday. Yeah, last Friday. That, Not this that? past Friday, oh, but the yeah. Friday before because uh, right. Yeah, we recorded because right. you went to the cottage. Yeah, I should have listened to that while I was driving. Yes, home. that would have been one to listen to. Yeah. Uh, what did we draft? What was it? Well, you feeling good? Oh, we dropped uh, best, the best feelings. feelings. <laughs> yeah. And I crushed Matt well, again. Not the... crushed. Yes, can crushed. I... I had twenty more votes than you on Insta. I'll show you. Can I quick hear what you both drafted? Yeah. Like your. I'll, I'll pull it up. Best feelings. Well. Okay, but one of Brady's was like the specific high point of one of my picks. So I think it was like okay, a little I'll bit read skewed you, I'll that read you. way. <laughs> You're hanging on one pick that, that you think changed the whole draft. <laughs> but in reality, yes, yeah, 66% of votes went to me, 34 to Matt. So it's a, it's a, that's a blowout, right? It's not a blowout. 66%? No. I feel like uh, that kind of is not fair for the, the whole standings things we're doing because I didn't even have it. Well, dunk, you can't go on vacation then. <laughs> well, I don't know what to tell you. Um, Matt's best feelings were a cold beer after work, watching massa- massive playoff sports moments. Yeah. Um, you playing, you never forget those moments. Playing sports with the boys, arriving to your vacation destination, and eating your favorite snack. Mine was a shower beer after a long day, which is, I had the second. That's kind of the See, same. It yeah. is, it is. But, but that's I, it's not just, the only one. Better. That's not the only one. It's just it's better, It's the though. high point of my pick. It's Yeah, it's just a better pick. A shower it, no, beer. No, it's just like a more specific me, a point shower beer on one of my work picks. It's just better than a, a cold beer after work. It should have just been shower beer. You shouldn't have been allowed to say after work. I didn't. It's after a long day. <laughs> oh, uh, oh. Rigged. 
It's not rigged. Rigged. I just had a better draft than you. And 66% of people two, agree with two me. Two of your picks 66, were the high points of my picks. 66% okay, of people. Keep going, keep going. We can yeah, go back going. and look at the other drafts. Just shouldn't you want. keep going. Uh, leaving work Friday after a long weekend and a lot, or for a long weekend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that like, is we, a good feeling. And sure. a lot of people talk about that pick and they're like, oh, that kind of won me over. A lot of people said that to Nobody me. Nobody said that. Yes, they did. No. Yes, they did. I don't buy that. I just make that up. <laughs> People at work. Because that's the type of shit you would do. No, it's not. I wouldn't just make okay, that up. Anyways. Uh, and then I, I had uh, being on vacation when time doesn't matter. You know, when you're just like chilling on vacation and you don't even know the time. Awesome yeah, feeling. That was literally me. Yeah, exactly. For, I, for 10 I, days. I legitimately wasn't sure what day of the week it was. Yeah, <laughs> that's the best. That's the best. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. And then I had uh, hitting the winning shot in sports. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. Yours was playing sports with the boys and mine's hitting a winning shot in sports. Yeah. Like, and if you listen to the pod, I'm more talking like competitive, like a competitive game, like scoring like the overtime win winner. The red hat. Well, yeah. Yeah. When you're like playing, scoring the winning goal there. But would you not call them the boys on your team? But or yours, are they just yours like implied guys, and the way you just, said, yours, just, and, yours implied and the way you kind of said it on the pod too, for the people that listen, yours is like, like, you know, like how we play sports now. It's never like. In a competitive Well, that's all we, we really can do now. Well, we're, I, we're not at the ring playing, you know, lacing them up with the boys three times a week anymore. No, but I'm like, like I, like I, I still play a hockey game where there's refs and like I, I don't count that either. But right, I, but it's not the same as like what minor no, hockey no, was when you're talking, like one, yeah, one man with all your teammates. You yeah, know? that's like what one I'm talk- giant. That's what I was talking about though, like in competitive sports, hitting the winning shot. Yeah, that's what I was like. Like, you're, you're playing with the boys. Oh, okay. Well, either way. Um, and then I had watching your bet cash, which is for anybody that gambles, an yeah. unreal feeling. That was that was a dark horse which, pick for and, sure. And a lot but of I also must say, for a lot of people that would have been like maybe the make or break, but for a lot of people that also probably wouldn't have applied that much too. Yeah, for sure. But dark exactly. horse pick for sure. Exactly. And especially for our audience, that was probably... Uh, I like, don't think our, our picking audience as much. Like the voters... Well, yeah, I don't think that one would. I, I feel like I, I feel like everyone or like a lot, like majority of people are, yeah, probably dabbling every now and then. Yeah, there there are a lot of people dabbling into into the um, gambling universe, but either way, uh, another dub for me, and uh, we'll we'll see if Duncan uh, take me off the throne because <laughs> it's not going to be dumb. it's not going to be you. With yeah, one okay. less games played. We I want to do yeah. a, anonymous names again. Okay. Uh, for, yeah. Don't for the think graphic. you said that word right, but we'll no. we'll. Uh, I, I don't anonymous? think I could either. I what did I say? I'm not sure. I think you just you, you slowed down. You, you just didn't anonymous. say confidently. Well, I I kind of like got a little bit scared halfway through the word. Yeah, no, I get I do that too. It's a bigger, I, bigger word. I can't I can't blame it's you fair. for that one. Um, but we are doing a draft today, Dunk. But we want to hear about your um, your your trip first. You were gone for how long? Ten two, days. Two, uh, uh, fifteen days. Fifteen days, and it was a twenty-four hour drive. Yeah. So tell us first yeah, so, about the drive. So uh, we went uh, father son fishing trip, mm-hmm. which I was involved with. That yeah. was the start of my my Could, vacation. Kind of weird. I didn't get invited on that one, but. Oh, he's always wondering that too. And Ty and Dad were on these trips. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay, I'll uh, I'll just no. be the daughter for the weekend. Yeah, no, it's okay because we we played sports. So. Yeah, right. uh, so we we that was like about five hours away mm-hmm. up in the French River there. Yep, that was a good time with the boy. A couple few ries consumed there. <laughs> good, and, good. And some excellent food. A lot of deep frying fish, fish and everything. Good. Oh, that does sound elite. Yeah, it sounds awesome. And then I left the one morning at about six o'clock there. The Wednesday morning, I guess, and drove mm-hmm. to Thunder Bay, stayed a night in a cheap hotel there, and then the next morning drove another, uh, like five and a half hours to uh, Kenora. And you had some credit card issues at the hotel, correct? Forgot my credit card in my lunch pail. <laughs> no which, way. Which was here at the time of me needing it was about twenty hours away. No way. What'd you do? I uh, was in the hotel, and they're like, driver's license and credit card. Was, got my driver's license. Immediately, were you like, or did like, you think you have it? I thought I was in my wallet. Oh, okay, yeah. But th- then when I didn't see it, I was like, oh, yeah, it's in my lunch bill. So <laughs> I was like, I don't, and the guy was not going to give it to me. And then I drove to an ATM. He's like, we could do a cash deposit. Because he wouldn't take your debit? Yeah, because he would have done debit, but it was the kindred. Yeah. And I don't know, whatever, it wasn't working. They didn't. They didn't recognize the card, right? Yeah. Which and, really? and like, yeah. If you're if there's no banks up there and you see a weird card, I I don't like fully yeah. blame them if it's no. not credit. No. So I just went to an ATM and I had to put two hundred dollar cash deposit. 
Really? Top of like a hundred and ten dollar room. Well, it was, wasn't too bad. But yeah. Wow. That, that is funny though. And then from there, you you made the rest of the trip. Yeah, and then I stayed in Kenora a night with this guy who I met up there, and uh, and then I stayed on this island property for four nights on a houseboat. Yeah, the houseboat looks sick. Fishing and wiring a fishing lodge. Just by yourself on that boat? At nights, yeah. There's people there during the day. So what like typically. what time would people leave? Day. Like it, would they leave at like eight o'clock at well, night we or seven? The the one day we fished like the afternoon. Right. So I worked like a little bit in the morning and then we went fishing for like six hours. Okay. <laughs> and then Buddy went back to town. So what time was that? Like I'm just trying to picture like, you on uh, a house I think boat. Four or five o'clock, he went back. So, what do you do from five till when you go to bed on oh, this houseboat? Oh, I work because I didn't like I fished most of that day was just fishing. Yeah. So I worked on uh, some my electrical work. And oh, then, you went back to working after. And then I made some supper, and then I what'd you make? Hung out. I did burgers one night, and nice. then uh, me and Jay, the guy mm -hmm. up there, we famous YouTuber. Yeah. The the first day we went fishing basically all day, mm -hmm. and caught a bunch of walleye and cooked some, and then we had leftovers. Huh. So I cooked the rest of the fish the one day. Yeah. And then, yeah, just other random That's stuff. Awesome. So it was biggest... just you there at the nights? Yeah. yeah. Wow. It was pretty funny. There was That is kind of cool. They felt bad, and I didn't care because, you know, live alone. You kind of wanted so it. Yeah, yeah. Used to it. You're a lone wolf. That's and, You uh, always have been. But the, the one guy who is typically at the property, like, the whole time, had to uh, uh, go to BC to, like, pick up his daughter or something who was moving home. Oh, uh, right. Last minute weird thing. He had to just, like, leave. Were there any pops for you back there? Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Yep. Good. Wow. We bought some beers and... Well, what was the living arrangement like in that houseboat? It was pretty nice. It was, uh, it's old, but it was redone and had a decent bed and my food in there. And it was kind of hot in there. There was no AC. Mm. It got pretty hot during the days, but all the windows open. So. And I, yeah. I, I know we definitely have people listening that are, that are into fishing. So tell us more about the actual fishing. Like what kind of fish were you catching? What was the biggest fish you caught? Uh, no giants okay. to, uh, to speak of, but... We went out for walleye for two days and then musky for a day. And uh, I had a musky on very briefly. It's quite exciting. Those things get huge, right? Yeah, yeah, they get huge. Like what? Like a like how many like feet? A fifty inch musky is like really good. Wow. Which is over four over feet. Over four feet. Oof. That's that's a big yeah, boy. They that's get a big, big boy and heavy. Yeah. And then I had a pike. Did you see it? Yeah, I seen the musky on the surface, and oh, then it was really? like real quick. Dunk, you got to finish the job. I did everything I could. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we I stayed there. I would have lost my pole, probably. <laughs> we were chucking other baits at it, and we could, like, see it on the on the live imaging. It's pretty really? cool. Like, you oh. can see the fish swimming around. That's cool. I'm sure he it's had like all new the... technology. He had all the top-line fishing stuff, I'm assuming. Yeah, there was some pretty cool electronics on the boat. Yeah. What's uh, Is there going to be a purchase you'll make now that you saw some of this stuff? Well, I need to buy a boat, like a nice boat. Mm. Right. Yeah, no problem. And then I'll get to thinking about putting electronics on it. <laughs> yeah. Boat, boat's the first. First, I, I guess I that makes sense. I can't afford that. No, boats are, boats are expensive. Well, maybe if uh, the parents ever upgrade, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe buy Gregor's old one, but yeah. I think he's pretty happy with it. I think so, and I think and Dunk would want the upgrade so. more than Greg. Yeah, that's true. In my opinion. <laughs> Yeah, that's you think that's fair? <laughs> yeah, that's fair. <laughs> um, yeah, so so uh, overall, great time though, and then the drive home, smooth sailing. Yeah, yeah, smooth sailing. Drove. I stayed a night. Rick Rose. Yeah. Shout out. There yeah. Shout out. Shout out to the roses. How much? <laughs> how much? Go ahead. I was talking about this with Dunk today. Yeah, we. we yeah. I was at Six Mile, like ten minutes from go home. Oh really? Wednesday to Saturday, that's like right hilarious. when Dunk was coming home. Oh, and. So I was going to go to the cottage, but I ended up coming through a day earlier because I... So you could have just stayed with it. them. Yeah. I, well, I don't know. But <laughs> but I, but then mom was at the cottage with all her like girlfriends, yeah, and I didn't yeah, yeah. know that. Yeah, you, I was like, oh, what the heck? And I was clear that one. <laughs> most of the way there. Yep. So I called dad, and he's like, well, we're over at Rick's. <laughs> so I detoured. Oh, add on another couple hours. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Whatever. Why not? You just drove 20 of them. <laughs> just drove over to Big Hawk Lake there, and... That's awesome. Fished with those boys for a night. And... Guessing you would do the do the trip again in heartbeat if it, if something like that ever happened. Yeah. Good. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. Kenora is 
pretty low key, perfect for me. Everyone's there is a fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, people are well, towing are there, boats are around there, everywhere. Are there fisher really? women there though? Yeah. Okay. Hell yeah. No, there's, no. S- there's some. I don't. You didn't meet any. I met the guy's wife, so she's obviously taken. But <laughs> she's pretty cool. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Dunk. Glad you had fun. Yeah. Um, and and you had a couple beverages on the water, I'm sure. So we uh, yeah. we're gonna be drafting some beverages. We're gonna be drafting beer Beers. types. Yep. Um, I'm really excited for someday doing like a like a just a alcoholic beverage or not even alcohol, just overall yeah, beverages. Yeah. And I agree. We'll, and we'll hold beer out of those. Yeah, like out of that like draft. a mixed drink draft or whatever. Mixed drink, or just like any drink. Like it can Anything be alcohol or beer. non-alcohol, Ooh. but it can't be beer. Ooh, yeah. So you can, you can throw milk in there if you want. Oh, milk. it's like like any liquid. I, I think we should someday. Yep. But we don't need to talk about that now because we're doing beer types. Yep. Right. Brands. Brands, Not yeah. types. Yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. you wouldn't say Brands. like a lager. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. So um, uh, shout out Lou Baby Brown for uh, giving us that topic. Yep, hell yeah, love to hear it. And there were more great topics we got too, and then they're on the list for future. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, there's man, there's really endless amount of jobs mm-hmm. we can do. But and we're and we're we've talked about this. We talked about it last episode actually. We're gonna before I leave for Europe, and I think it's gonna be like, I, I think to like give ourselves a break, we're gonna pre-record five episodes. But obviously, Dimes is still happening in that time. Yeah, yeah. But we're gonna have five episodes pre-recorded for when I'm gone, mm-hmm. and they'll all be drafts with different people. So we gotta we gotta pre-record five. Mm-hmm. Five we gotta drafts. Get going. Yeah, yeah. And well, we're gonna we're gonna like book out a Saturday night at some point in the next seven oh, weeks. Oh yeah, and then just have the boys cycle yeah. through. Should yeah, probably... yeah. Good idea. We should do that soon for sure. Um, and also, also, uh, we can talk about this more next week. The three of us, along with Lloyd, have a special trip coming oh up. yeah but but man i know that's actually crazy but less got, than two weeks we got one more when recording it? before that, this though. weekend no, no this weekend next. then next friday okay. but we, was, got, we got okay. one more recording for that bef- like we'll record yeah. before that so we can right. talk lots about it then okay yeah, yeah. roger yeah because we, we we can spend some time on that topic yeah oh yeah for sure yeah that's gonna be a wild one yep but let's get into uh <laughs> let's get into our, our types of beer draft yep and the teams here uh when it comes to the voting process you vote on the team where, uh, how did I explain that before? Basically, if you choose team A, you can never have a drink on team B or team C again. I'm curious, I'm curious why you, why you, why you want to say it that way or like why, why no, you want to form it that way. It's just like if you had to choose a team and never drink any other beers, you know? Right. But like, what does that change for the draft? I think it should just overall who has the, the best. <laughs> I, I, I don't okay. hate the idea, but okay. I, I don't think it will really change sure, anything. Yeah. I think the, the community can vote what they yeah, want. Yeah, that's a great idea. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, I think you're a little bit on edge because of how the how the drafts no, have gone. No, and I no, and we're we're back to numbers. We we put the names in the last one, and that was a, that was a no no. I, I forgot that. Back yeah. to numbers. No, I I know you did. Mm-hmm. Back that back probably to, changed a couple things. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. lots of people just want to sabotage you. I don't <laughs> know. I, that point is so wrong because you know people want to sabotage me more than they want to sabotage you. Well, you would think, but that's not the no, way. I that's know not that. the way the world spins People right now. People just have enough. Um, <clears throat> what's the word? Integrity to vote the best voter. <laughs> they don't look at the name; they look at the best voter, or the, be- the best, uh, the best drafter. Sorry, that, that's just wrong on well, more than one level. Well, it's a, uh, it's, it's just how how it's went, and and you're in a slump. Would do you agree? You're in a slump. Uh, statistically, I'm in a yeah, st- yeah, slump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, statistically, I'm in a slump. That's like, <laughs> yeah, okay. That's that's like a, uh, a, a say. I think I'm playing that, okay. good ball right now, but I'm in a slump. Bobochet. He he might say he's playing good ball right now, but the 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 hits just aren't landing. Yeah, I'll take that comparison. Okay, there yeah. you go. So you're the Bobochet of drafting this year. It's just not going well. Uh, and we, we, um, did, uh, we figured out our order before the draft in a fair way. I got first pick. Yep. Dunk is second. Matt is third on the snake. So you'll have back to back and we'll go back up to me. I'm going to start with, I think just the pick that just needs to be made. Um, it's the beer I buy most frequently. I think it's the beer most people buy most frequently. It's always kind of there for you. The can's just a beautiful, nice blue. I'm taking Bud Light. Yeah. I think I I have to do that. I think that's like the McDonald's of the fast food, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah, but I haven't bought a case of Bud. Well, Bud is Budweiser. Bud, Bud Light. 
And we're not going to talk about other As we're staring picks. at uh, two cases, two of, cases Bud Light of two right fours. Behind you. To be fair, I did not buy those. <laughs> no, those are chumps. But yeah, they they are right behind you, and and you've consumed a few of few of those ones in those. I cases. do think that's like the most like generic. It's like oh, you need a quick beer, and you yeah. don't have like time to be like oh, you have the, it's just Bud Light. And you know? if you're and if you're like going to a party and if you're sharing beer or you're like getting beer for someone. Or like for a group of people. Oh yeah, Bud Light's always the safest. Bud Light, yep. 100%. Not everybody loves Bud Light. A lot of people actually hate it. Yeah, but no, I I think it's the safest play for that, and it's also the beer I buy most frequently. So I'm going Bud Light. I like it. I like it. Dunk, you're on the clock with this second pick. I'm. Uh, here's the beer I buy most often, and I don't know if this is true for other people, but. I think people do enjoy it, and that's Miller Lite. Ah, damn it. Miller Lite. I wanted to draft that first overall because it's my favorite beer for sure. Yeah, that is my favorite. That's why I picked it. Yeah, and I think it's a lot of other people's <clears throat> favorite too, but Bud Light, I think more. But Miller Lite, I thought I was going to have on the turnaround. That's what I'm saying. Damn, that wow. pissed me off. Yeah, I think Bud and Miller are the, like the, probably the one too. Miller is my favorite beer. It's just a tiny bit pricier than Bud Light. That's why I don't buy it as much. That's fair. Okay. Great pick, though, Dunk. Great pick. Great pick. So I'm I'm back to back here, and uh, I'm a little bit nervous if I'm being <laughs> honest. But with the third pick of the draft, I'm going to take Corona. Great pick, Corona. I mean, fantastic. Pick. No one no one buys it that much just because of the price. And, yeah. But man, a Corona in the summer with yes, a lime with mm. that is good. Yep. Mm. Yeah. And I will say for Corona, has to be the bottle. Yeah, it oh, makes dude, it I, yeah. I, yeah, I don't think I've ever bought a can before. Dad bought some cans, and he agreed with me on this one. We were drinking them at the cottage. He had some cans and bottles, Yeah, and they just don't quite taste the same coming out of the can. I could see that. A bottle. Truth, truthfully, bottles taste better in everything. Yeah, I love bottles. They're just not as convenient no, for, that's uh, for anything. Yeah. Yeah, I, th- I think uh, Corona's a great pick. That was my second on my list. Yep, nice, nice. Okay, I feel mm-hmm. good about that one. Yep. I think you can feel good about that. Yep. Fourth pick of the draft, my second pick. I'm going to go with Kuro's Banquet or Original or whatever the heck they're calling it now. Yep. Uh, to me, that one is it's just... It's still Banquet to me. I think they do call it Original. I yeah. It is. It is Original, but I it's just... It's an almond-looking can. It doesn't sound yeah. near as cool. Yeah. Do you want but me to put Banquet Kuro's on the draft yeah, or put Original? Banquet. Put okay. Banquet. That's fair. Yeah. That's what I still know it as. And I yeah, think me too. Everyone. That's what I still call it. Mm-hmm. But Banquet, another great beer. Like... a on tap banquet is banquets up there for me for tap years oh yeah it, and there's my favorite tap year hasn't been drafted yet really Ooh. yeah interesting yeah are are you uh or and you just drafted twice yeah i just drafted twice. i and i i think i know i think i know what that yeah, is by and, the way and i that's why i haven't taken that one because i know that it's not a very popular beer uh i okay maybe i don't officially know what you're talking about, but if I do, I'm picking it next. Oh, if, okay. it, if it gets to me. Okay. Well, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. And I, th- I think you'd be surprised how popular it is if it's the one. Corona and banquet, though. Let's go. And dunk. Back to you. Back to you, dunk. With yeah, one. I'm not sure what the best route to go is. Like cheap people buy often, or like expensive but delicious. That's that's the mental struggle. Yeah. Of this draft, 100. percent I think what I think what you can look at is like people are looking at this draft and like if these beers were in front of them for free, maybe they don't buy it, but they just love the beer. I think that's how I would look at it if I was voting. Same, and that's how I'm looking at it for drafting. Okay, and some of the ones I might draft, uh, I'll I'll drink the odd time if they're there, or maybe like I probably won't ever buy a case, but I I will buy it because I like mm-hmm. the beer. Okay, so go ahead. I'm gonna say Stella Artois. I was on my Stella. list. Stella's uh, a delicious beer. I, I don't think it's that good. I mean, I've probably had less than 10, but I've always enjoyed them when I've had them. I mean, and beer, beer is beer, so I, I like it, but it's just not my... Uh... No, I like... Out of the can, I, I don't know if I've ever had it out of the can. I think I've just had it on tap before. Yeah. But another, and I like, you know, you, mm-hmm. you can't go wrong with that one. I, I think that one might be a, a potential dark horse one if that's what people are into yeah some people i I know some people definitely swear by stella yeah um okay i'm i'm on the i'm on the clock and back to back back to back i am going to go with this is one that i'd never drink anymore okay i I still uh, i shouldn't say never the odd time i do for sure but it was the first beer i ever started drinking 
and it's the beer that in my town everybody still buys and drinks oh. so i'm around it all the time yeah. and it's just it's just a i love that it says canadian in the name i'm taking molson canadian i love the name of it i love i love what they stand for it's a little heavy for me to drink multiple yeah but i still like one i don't Molson. know if i've ever seen you drink a molson what yeah that's the beer i started drinking well that's stever's fridge you opened it yeah all that's true <laughs> you know that you also have molson yeah. with me down there <laughs> so that's why i'm taking molson canadian um for the uh aesthetic is that the right word yep and then uh and, and i'm not sure if this is the one you were talking about matt but it's was what i'm taking oh no that was the one i was talking about oh really yeah on tap molson's my favorite on tap oh yeah. okay this is my favorite on tap and uh and i think it's a lot of other people's favorite on tap too don't don't ever buy it in cans or bottles because it'll just ruin the experience. Only buy this on tap. Damn, I know what you're gonna pick. Rickards, right? Yeah, yeah. shit sake. Rickards, I was shit be sake. So good on tap. I, oh. I, every restaurant I go to, if I'm getting a beer on tap, I ask if they have Rickards Red, or if it's like a craft beer, and a lot, like a, a lot of craft beers do their own red lager. Yeah. And it always slaps. Yeah. I man. love I love it. I'm not going to lie. I was low key hoping both those were going to make it to my my <laughs> oh, next back to back. I love it. But that's fine cuz there was a yeah. like I didn't like my like my last back to back. That's that's True. when I was hoping they were going to be at. Oh, not I my see. next one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah my, of course my, not. My last of course back to back. Not. And also I should say we're doing five picks for this one. Yeah, five we, picks. we didn't say that. So do we want to do a recap after or no? After 3. After 3, right? I yep. I'm the only one that has 3 right now. Yep. Correct. Okay. Um yeah, so I, I like my board right now a lot. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's it's not bad. I'll give you that. I'll give you that, but it's still early. Okay. And Time for you to blow. I was going to... I wanted records there, but... Ooh, did I put you on, on skates here, Dunk? You're up. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um... A beer I enjoy, and I I do buy a case of from time to time. Okay. Kind of expensive. Okay. But uh, Mill Street Organic. Yes. Original. Mm. Yes. That is uh, a good beer. Like, I know they have different flavors, but like the standard Mill yeah, Street yeah, Organic. Yeah, 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 for sure. Mill Street Organic's a great pick. I didn't even think of that one, but I I, I have those a decent amount. Uh, I think that's a good pick, Dunk. Yeah, okay, those are thanks. good beers. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Things are getting interesting. Oh. Two more, or three more picks for Matt, two more for Dunk and I. Yep. We're gonna do a little recap after this one. Okay, before we do the recap here, my uh, my third pick. This one's for uh, all the healthy people out there. Michelob Ultra. Mm. Yeah. Son of a gun. Son yeah. of a gun. I know. Yep. I actually that was the most recent thing I bought. I, I actually have a two four of uh, that stuff sitting at home, but yeah, unfortunately I'm unable to drink it because I'm on a no drink week this week. So. <laughs> I know, well, dr- a no drink week. I think I've almost only had one out of the case so far. Yeah, what what inspired your uh, no drink week? Uh, just uh, and by the way, does weekend count? Like, is it seven days or, or five days? Uh, just like the Monday to the Thursday. Okay, so four days. Yeah, four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like no, that. well, you know, vacation <laughs> oh. was from Wednesday to Saturday last week. Right. Yes. And lots of beverages consumed there. And then Saturday we did our floating thing mm-hmm. for your twenty. Ha- By the way, happy birthday, Brady! Twenty fifth <laughs> birthday. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Floated down the that. Nith. No, not the Nith. What was that again? The Grand Conestoga. Yeah, Conestoga. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, had had lots of be- bevies that day. Mm-hmm. Taylor and I are both feeling pretty good, so <laughs> we're we're yeah. gonna taking we're taking a brief hiatus. Fair and enough. And what beer were you consuming? That's everything. Well, there is a few different types. There's some Landshark <laughs> seltzers in there, some Molsons. Yeah. Uh, whatever Achieve. flavory flu- fruity stuff Taylor was drinking. Yeah, yeah. It was it was all around, and then we had a keg back at the uh, back at the seventh we had a keg. Pool, back at the seventh pool the after. Keg? We should actually Bud tell Light. you about the river float. No, the keg was Coors uh, Banquet. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's, that's a good gag. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it was a great time floating down that river. Dunk, you'll have to do that with us sometime. That sounds all right. It, we we got to wait for one hundred percent beat after the week. Yeah. Few weeks there. Yeah, that's fair. Oh yeah, you were invited to that and didn't come. I was at the cottage. With fair my enough. Cousins there. Kind of fair enough, I guess. <laughs> I probably invited you before they did, but whatever. Uh, okay, after three picks each, my team is. Do you have a dunk? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Brady has Bud Light. Molson Canadian and Rickards Red. Happy with it. Dunk, me, as Miller Light, Stella Artois, and Mill Street Organic. And 
Matt has Corona, Coors Banquet, and Michelob Ultra. Okay, man. I'm I'm a little bit nervous about my next pick here. Uh, uh, I'm I'm extremely nervous about mine. But uh, I'm gonna go with this one. Well, it's are you up? Yeah, I'm back oh, back yes, here. Yes, yes. It's one that I I can't say I've had like a ton of times, mm-hmm. but I certainly think it has a good flavor. If it was a cheaper beer, for sure I would be on it more. Uh, I'm going with Heineken. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yep. I don't know what are the yeah. It's uh, it's kind of kind of hard to read you guys on that one whether that was a good pick or not. I just not. never drink. Yeah, Heineken, I, I so. maybe I maybe had three in my life. Yeah, I've maybe had like five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. I, but I, I like it. Like I would. It's honestly a good beer. I'm sure I like it too, but I can't like I can't remember the taste of it at all. Yeah. So I I don't I don't know. Yeah. Well. But it's on the team. I'm proud of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a little scared for it, <laughs> yeah. but I'm proud of it. Yeah. It could be a dark horse. It could be. There might be some. That, that, of... See, that one has a definition of a potential dark horse. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. And some people might some people might love it. You never so know. So I'm four picks on the board, one left. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. Uh, um, I got a pick here, which just came to me. I have a hilarious which one. Which I, I like to pick, and I think is a good pick, and that's Tremor. Tremor. Mm. On my list as well. Not bad. Not bad at all. Tremor. Um. Okay, I'm up, and, and I'm gonna take one. It's it's gonna it's gonna hurt my draft board. You're scattered right now. No, I know exactly what I'm picking, but I debated not picking it because it's gonna hurt my draft board, because not a lot of people know about it. I don't think, but for me in in high school and uh, not in high school, I didn't even drink at all in high school. So I don't know why I said that. The years right after high school, and and uh, there were a couple guys that always brought these to to parties, and it's James Reddy five point five. Whoa. Have you ever heard of it? I don't even know if I've ever heard of it. It's it's a it's, a, it, it's just a cheap beer. It doesn't taste the best. It's just a funny it's just a funny beer to me and 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 some of uh, the people voting I know will also think it's funny. James Reddy five point five. Wow. Yeah, it's it's going on the board. Wow. Yeah, I like I said I think it's gonna hurt my board, but I wanted to go with the heart and it's it's one that means a lot to me doesn't actually mean a lot but it's it's just, it's funny memories for me I definitely never even heard of it i'll show you i'll show james you 5.5 james ready i'll show you james the, ready i'll show you the uh i thought you were gonna take buddha there for a second no 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 <laughs> i thought you were gonna take labats 50 oh guys you're giving away picks here we, we're not done here no <laughs> james ready 5.5 oh, I, I, yeah okay that looks familiar definitely never had one though I, yeah i agree i can guarantee i've never had one uh yeah that that that's fair oh no what i i had a uh i had my next pick lined up and i, I just lost it in my mind and nice I, oh man let's go let's go oh yeah you're up again here mm-hmm. wow is uh, this choke central no i'm not worried uh, I'm, <laughs> take your time <laughs> <laughs> uh oh Okay, remind me to tell you guys something uh, funny about a beer after. Okay. Because I, I did try a, uh, I tried a beer on vacation. Actually, I'll just say it because it's not going to be picked. I'll talk about it for a minute and maybe give ourselves a second to uh, to think here. But have you ever seen this brand of beer? It's just called Beer. Yeah, it's the no the, name. What's the no name? Yeah. Oh, I got a. I've uh, still never tried one. I got a six pack for seven bucks. I don't recommend trying one. Really? That but, bad? But for that price, though, like I'd recommend getting it for that price. But like, don't, but like taste wise. Uh, no, it's not horrible. It's just okay. not good by any means. Even like, like ice cold. Ice cold, you'll drink it and you'll be like, eh. Okay. That's what uh, you, that's what you'll say. I honestly have thought about picking up a case, but oh, for that price, it's it's crazy not to sometimes, but. Um, I'm going with Moosehead. Wow. Moosehead's my pick. Yeah, that was... Now I know what I'm picking because it was either that one or another one. Okay. So you guys... Of course I take it. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's true. True. I'm going to go just another cheap one. Uh, it's it's there for you as well. It's for the people that don't like Bud Light, mm. which is Coors Light. Yeah. Mm. Okay, now I don't have any picks. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. I'm, uh, I'm good. Coors Light, Coors Light is... Um, I drink it. I drink it too. But for I, some I reason, I'm it. just like, no, I, used I don't to, love it. When I was renoing the house, yeah. the Coors Lights went down like 
Oh, Coors Light, just amazing. I actually think a, a ice and the mountains are blue. When the mountains are blue, yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. And you, I anyway, just this is my my connection is doing a whole bunch of dusty work, tearing out walls. Yeah, open the fridge, which is still running at very cold setting, and you see the mountains and that the are mountains, blue. And it's yeah. Which, by the way, oh. how, how did no other cans like, or how did no other beer brands they come up with patented that shit? Well, I'm not saying mountains, but you could do something that to make your can turn a color if it gets cold. That's genius. Oh, dude, totally. Like, I think that, that's probably when I was younger. That's probably why I was buying the cases. So I, I was like, oh, yeah, boys, you want beer? The, the mountains are blue. I actually love Coors blue, Light. Yeah. I didn't pick it because it gets a horrible rap for some reason. It does. Like, people are like, oh, you're drinking that piss. Like, people But then when say it's that. like Coors Banquet, everyone's like, oh, my God, you got Coors Banquet? Yeah, I know. People are people are overly aggressive about their hate towards Coors Light because I don't think it's people that bad at all. People hate towards Molson Canadian. And mm. I wouldn't say I have hate Do, towards it, yeah. but I don't. I I don't drink Molson. I've heard, I've heard smoke on most Canadian Molson too. Canadian I, is referred to as piss by some people. Yeah. Oh, that's, All a, that's admit, a dark piss. A, a warm, like a warmish Molson or even like a room temp. Oh. It's not for me. No, but I no, love no. Molson. No, no, no. But if it's yeah. like a nice cold, like you, Bennett, you, yeah, Molson's yeah. like, it's good. Most beer warm isn't great, but a Molson. No, a but like a Bud Light, you could have a room temp. And it's like, yeah. not like amazing, but it's like. It'll get the job done. It's, but it's, it's better yeah. than a Molson at room mm-hmm. temperature. That's for sure. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. I agree. Okay. My last pick here. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've all bought this beer. A lot of us several several times, like a lot of times. Two really. picks here. No, I have my last one. I think. Yeah, this is number five. What did you just pick? Um, I drafted Heineken, and then oh, I yeah. drafted. What did I draft there? No, you yeah. got two more picks, and then it's back to me. No, I have I have five picks. No, you don't. Yeah. You... Yeah, because then remember I started after our you, pause. You missed something, Dunk. I, I definitely I have, have five. you at, yeah, I probably screwed up. I have you at Corona, Coors Banquet, Michelob, and Heineken. That's four. That's four. So yeah. he's about to make his fifth. Yeah. His fifth and final. Oh, I thought I had one more. Yeah, you're right. You got five on you, though? I have five. Okay. Well, we'll talk about we'll ones talk we missed about what after. I think I missed, but I think it's going to be fine. But... Yeah. Yeah, okay. But anyway, we've all bought this one. It's mm-hmm. no one's like first choice, mm-hmm. but it's one that all of us have bought in tough times, and uh, especially around this area, yeah. head out Milverton way a little bit more. It's uh, old Vienna, the number one beer. Well, not that no. one, but <laughs> Bush. Bush. Oh, Bush. Yeah. Okay. Everyone's had Bush. People Everyone's had sure. multiple that'll, Bush. That'll bode well for like yes. the Bruce County yeah. and, yes, and I, Norfolk I, crew and I everything. Don't, uh, <laughs> yeah, all those followers we have out there. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I that don't, one's for you, Bruce boys. Yeah. I, I don't hate the pick at all. I thought you were going to say County. I thought you were going to say Budweiser, and I do not like Budweiser. No, I couldn't choose Budweiser. I do not like it, so I was going to shit on that. But I Bush, was looking at that one just because of the name of it. Yeah, Bush is a, a pick for the people. We've um, all bought Bush for sure, cases and, and I will buy Bush before or again yeah, at some yeah. point. Yeah. Usually, when you buy Bush, for me at least, it's like you need to grab some beer because you're going somewhere where you want to have some beer, but. You're at a time where it's like, oh man, spending money on a case of beer kind of sucks. Yeah, I'm going with Bush. Yeah, <laughs> and then you yeah. have a case of Bush to save two dollars. <laughs> to save two dollars, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I think anybody uh, anybody can relate to that. So I think it's a good pick. Um, I think it's funny that there's a can sitting beside us that nobody picked. Uh, yeah, I, a, I thought about those. it. There's an empty can of Land Shark. I looked at it the whole time, and I was like, I just don't think enough people love Land Shark to pick it. I agree. Like, I've never bought a case of Land Shark. No, and I don't actually like it too much. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't mind it, but... Yeah, I'll, I'll drink it. I obviously did. Yeah, I'm, just... I'm sure, it, like, it probably tastes better than Bush, mm-hmm. but, you know... Yep. Bush is for the people. Yep. And this is... I was kind of assuming we were going no craft beers in this, too, because there was, yeah. like... Like, a, the Cowbell Shindig is a really good beer. See, I was thinking... That was... I was going to pick, a, like, a... A known craft beer. Yeah, if it, and maybe that would have been. I think fun. just like Cowbell itself would have had to been the pick. Oh well, no. I think that's cheating then because you got so many options. Yeah. Right. So I'm yes. glad we didn't run into that because they I, have uh, like a, they have a red and they have a right. darker one. I was gonna pick an IPA. Mm. I don't mind IPAs. I wouldn't drink many of them, but there's people out there that like the craft folks. That yeah. Could have won a vote because it would have been the only one. It would have been yeah. the only craft. I I love uh I love one IPA. Like a flying monkey juicy ass. Have you ever had those? <laughs> no, I've seen it's that. It's got a crazy though. can. I bought, I buy those sometimes. I my my thing at restaurants is uh, like I, I started never if I'm just if I know I'm just gonna have one beer on tap, which is often the case at a restaurant. Yeah, I'll never get something I know now. 
Like just try something new. I try yeah. something yeah. new every single time now. Might as well. Yeah. It all tastes like I o- pretty good off tap. And often it will be whatever red ale they have. Like if you go to a brewery, I, like whatever red one they have is what I'm going with. You're a red guy. Just on tap. Mm-hmm. I like yeah. Yeah, yeah. Guinness too. People don't like that because it's like black. But I don't. I don't. It's yeah, good. I'm not a fan of the darker. No, beers. I can't get down the chocolate milk. Guinness, it <laughs> it is a dark beer, but it's a four point six. Oh, is so it? So it's not like you're drinking an eight percenter or something. No, yeah. but but isn't the taste just a like? It, I've only had like a, one because I didn't kill really Kenny. Like it. Those it reminds are me creamy. of like coffee. Mm. It's like a coffee, a black coffee, but like stronger. Yeah, a Guinness. Yeah, but I uh, I had a couple of uh, red beers. Now I just remembered in Kenora, local brewery up there. Really on tap? Yeah, nice. Couple. They were good. I don't know. Got to be on tap. Like, yeah, I was feeling okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know yeah. what percent they were or what they were. But... Oh, there's something about a craft beer. It doesn't matter what oh, percent. And, and there's a there's a brewery in El- Elmira. Shout out to shout out to them. I rural. guess. Yeah, Rural Roots. Mm. They have a Tal Yard Red. It's it's their name. It's it's. I had three of those on uh, Josie's birthday there, so mm-hmm. they did the job. Love to hear it. I actually only had two. Um, but yeah, good draft, Dunk. Do you want to give us the final uh, final, final 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 teams? Five, yep. yep. So Brady, we have Bud Light, Molson Canadian, mm-hmm. Rickards Red, James Ready five point five, and Moosehead. I have Miller Light, Stella Artois, Mill Street Organic. Creamore and Coors Light. Matt has Corona, Coors Banquet, Michelob Ultra, Heineken, and Bush. Yeah. I'm going to say something crazy here. Cold as the mountain stream, smooth as its name. (laughs) I think is what the cans used to say. (laughs) I'm going to say something crazy here. I I think Matt won his first draft. I won the very first draft we ever did. Yeah, true. You snuck that one out. You snuck that one out. I I I think Matt breaks his slump with this one. I don't think Brady wins. I think it's me or Matt. I think the... Uh, I think Brady loses. I but forgot about Matt. Unless a say that. bunch of you and your friends drank James Ready. There's going to be there's gonna be not a bunch. There's going to be maybe that vote. That pick might sway max three people. Max? Max. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I was going to say, like, even if I it was, like, five either. people, no. like, if five people seen that, five votes yeah, no. for the stories can be, like, no, Scott a, Martin, a decent percentage. You, you know Scott Martin? Yeah, yeah. It started because that's all he used to bring, and we would all be like, what are you drinking? And he'd just pull out the ball, James Ready 5.5. <laughs> and it was just <laughs> always, like, a joke. So it's like, a 5.5%. 5.5%. Mm, but this, yeah, in their title, James Ready 5.5. Hmm. Yeah, so, I, like, that's just kind of what I think of when I see it, and I saw the picture, and I couldn't get it out of my mind. <laughs> when I was doing like when I was getting my picks in order yeah so I just like I couldn't get that beer out of my mind that's why I ended up picking it I don't I think it's gonna hurt me what I think might have won you the draft is uh I totally forgot about Michelob yeah I, yeah, I, I was pretty uh, pretty happy to get that one in the third round I, totally I didn't think I was gonna make it back after and I chose Banquet my second pick it's gonna be good for you Banquet, Banquet should be. Uh, like, that was the mess. beauty of three and four. Like Corona and Banquet, Corona's, everyone Corona's would, the enjoys best. those. Yeah. And then getting Bush at the end, you you get the you get the people that are uh, buying frequent beers. I would say. Yeah, yeah, that <laughs> one's for all the beer buyers. Yeah, the, the, the frequent beer buyers. Frequent beer buyers. Yeah, because <laughs> there's there's there there are those out there and. And uh, a lot of them will get Bush. Yeah, any surprising that like no Budweiser. Because uh, that's I, like that's like I think that's probably the biggest name that didn't get drafted. Do you yeah. know anybody who it that's often their beer? buys a case of Bud Heavy? See, when I was younger, like mm-hmm. at nineteen twenty, you know, I feel like a lot of people were drinking. I remember Budweiser. me and I think Ty it, were buying it, Bud Heavy. It's just cause cause when too. you start buying a case of beer, you don't know what is like. You don't know what you like, and Budweiser's got an awesome logo. Yeah, yeah. And it just is Budweiser. All <laughs> yeah. just buys Budweiser. And they had, they had like Jay's giveaways and stuff too. That's true. Like, so I, th- I think that's kind of yeah, plays into it. Yeah, their cans would be decorated with some Jay shit. And their cans were cool, and their bo- their their logo in the case just kind of stands out, I think. Or uh, another another one that I noticed, like High Life or whatever. Miller High Life. Yeah. Yeah. That's like, I haven't bought that one personally, no, but. I have. I've seen pe- people drink that, that is one. That is the champagne I don't hate beers. that one. Um, another one is Sleeman. I, yeah. I used to love Sleeman, but it, it gives me the shits. Sleeman I feel like clear. I hear shit in the next morning too. Uh, after I, that, I drink yeah. a Sleeman Clear, they, but the Sleeman Original, yeah, it's yes, it Sleeman, makes me feel a bit weird. The Sleeman I honestly clear like the taste of Sleeman. Sleeman Clear, I, I, I really yeah. do. Yeah, yeah, yeah it just uh, it it doesn't uh, it doesn't sit well with me. I would like to drink it more. It's local Guelph. 
Really? Yeah, they're made in Guelph. Oh. Could you pick a Bud Light seltzer? No, I, no, I you don't couldn't. think so. Yeah, I know. I thought about the seltzer thing too because it's like Cruel's. Wow, cool. Cruel's well, Light cool. would have been more valuable because their seltzers are pretty delish. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, those Bud Light, like the the Bud Light strawberry lemonades they have now, or like the are those good? I feel like all of Bud those Lights are, like those flavored drinks. Seltzer. Bud Light Lime is okay. Bud Light Lime's awesome. I love those flavored ones because they're actually beer. Yeah, it, like it, it's more of a beer taste than the seltzers because it's like not as car- it's not carbonated. Right, yeah. Like it's it goes down like a beer. But it's people not... also compare Bud Light to water. Yeah, yeah, but that's just yeah, that's trying just to sound something. Yeah, yeah. Is. that is yeah, yeah. This is just this uh, is like water. Water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> no um, big deal. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but we'll, we'll wrap this this episode up shortly. Um, we will next week will be a fun episode because we'll be gearing up for our, we'll we'll say we're going to New York to watch Jay's mm-hmm. game. Yep. Uh, but we'll we'll talk to the about, Big Apple. Yeah. So that'll be uh, that'll be sweet. Leaving real early Friday morning or really late Thursday night or. Yeah, it depends how you look at it. Well, yeah. if it's before wrap. I think I think the boys like roll into New York around like ten eleven when it's like probably prime time for a Friday. Okay, so to New York. So we gotta. Leave. So whatever time that puts us at, probably like two or three a.m. Yeah, if not earlier. Yeah. I don't. Yeah, I don't know. That might just be a quick and, uh, nap uh, after work and head out. Are we taking the vibrator? Yep. Oh, okay. I actually have to talk to my dad about that because I got to get a couple things done on her before mm-hmm. we go. But before it takes a hike. Yeah. So no AC. Four big boys rolling in a tiny car. <laughs> Wouldn't be the five first years time. ago. Oh, just over five. Was it or was it four years? Uh, I don't know. The boys did the same trip to Boston. Yeah. We just uh, got a bunch of Snapchat memories the other day. Oh yeah. One. Yeah. Was it four? Or five? I wouldn't have it any other yeah, way. Four or five years ago. I wouldn't want AC. I wouldn't want. Uh, Dude, I don't even. I don't like. I don't want there to be air conditioning when the boys go. Let's just do yeah. it all natural. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Part of me does want air conditioning. <laughs> no, most of me wants air conditioning, but I, it's it's fun to do though. Yeah, it, it's oh, it's yeah. fun, and we'll have the windows well, open. A lot of our driving will be when it's like not too hot anyway. Yeah, that's a good well, point. That going a good there point. anyway. Going there. The way home will probably be, and a, that's when an absolute sweat fest. On the way there, you're just pumped, so it doesn't matter how you feel. On the way home's the issue. Yeah, the way home's gonna be a sweat fest. The way yeah, home from sure. Boston was noticeably worse. Yeah, that, well, well, that's when the ass sweat really took in the well, place. Especially since you're sweating out beer from the yeah the, the time there. Yeah, my my seats were they've never, never quite the same. They've never been the same, and they're about to get worse. <laughs> yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> Taylor, uh, her parents have this like seat cleaner vacuum okay. thing. Whatever, it's like with like water and like suction at the same time. Yeah, man, we cleaned my car seats. Mm-hmm. The color of the water, like it almost just made you not want to ever like sit in my car again. Yep. Was, but hey. Oh, we uh. We're gonna. <laughs> oh, we almost forgot. We have our we have our draw. I have our. Oh yeah. I have I have the names in in the hat right here beside the chair. Mm-hmm. Matt's gonna Matt's gonna pull a name and show it to me, and I'm I'm gonna announce our winner. Okay. Um, this is for people that listen to every episode. Um that we did the draw and we did three we did three words so if you don't know what we're talking about that's because we didn't put it on social media it was only for the people that listen right to the end of the episode yep so we have we have the names in a hat matt's gonna pull one and the winner gets a a yammer yager florida panthers jersey which is a hilarious giveaway he played there for half a season optionally signed by the boys yeah if if the, <laughs> if the winner wants it signed it, it can be signed by the boys no i wouldn't uh, want that i'd sign the inside yeah, the inside. You don't want to mess up the. No, yogurt. I'm not. I, I will. No. I will not sign a, a, another man's name or no, number. You can't. Um, but but Matt's gonna Matt wants, Matt's gonna pull one from the hat, and I'm yep. gonna, I'm gonna announce the winner. Here we go. Shuffle Where that around. Shuffle that around. Okay, look at that. What did it say? The winner of the Yamri Auger Florida Panthers jersey is Eric Futher. No way. That's huge. Yeah. Fu- Fu- uh, we got to give it to him. Futh was dialed on the... Futh was dialed. Yeah. Futh was dialed. There was a lot of people dialed, though. So we, yeah. we, we thank all you people that, that uh, listened and, and had your name in there. Um, and we, we yeah, we, we uh, appreciate you guys listening to the end of the episodes to do that. Futher, congrats on the jersey. Well, we'll uh, he'll uh, message us after he listens to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't need to message yeah. him. He'll hear. No. He'll, yep. We'll probably That's get a message tomorrow. Matt Derrick. Today. Text the boys, get your jersey. Yep, get your jersey. Um, and uh, another thing quickly, we're, we're going to wrap up on this. Matt and I are playing our slow pitch game together tonight. Yeah, my first ball game Matt's in multiple years. Game. Uh, shout out to, to Mike Ellison White. He's a loyal listener of the pod. Yep. He he called the boys up to a slow pitch game tonight. It's, a, it's our first game together in probably three, four years. 
I get nervous just thinking about it. Yeah, so we'll we'll see what happens. I'm, I'm if I predict, uh, if I can predict stat lines for both of us, I think I'm going to go three for five uh, with a double. No, with three doubles. <laughs> Three for five with three doubles. I guess Bray's got speed somehow. No, 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 no. The reason they're not triples because I don't have speed. Oh, I hit them oh, in the gap. They're okay. going in the gap. Right. Or da- probably down the line, actually. Of so three for five, three doubles. The other one is a warning track fly out. Just miss it. Um, and then, and. Uh, You're going to ground out at least once. No, I don't ground out. I'll, I will pop out twice. Probably. <laughs> That's the two outs. Um, and then I'll. I don't know what position I'm going to be playing, but I'm going to guess. One air out of nerves, one spectacular play, and the rest routine. I'll make I'll make the play, but okay. but one. You're kind of hyping yourself pretty good here. I gave myself an air, and I went three for five in slow pitch. I'm not hyping myself that much. Okay, fine. I okay, think so, I'll actually uh, go five for five. But my over unders are set at one and a half for hits. <laughs> yeah. So you go, you guys are gonna have to figure that one out. Assuming uh, let let maybe five. Assuming uh, four four at, four at bats minimum. Yeah. Yep. I, I'm assuming yeah five might be a stretch for at bats four. But one and a half, and then the uh, air total, uh, point five we'll say. Mm-hmm. What would you take for yourself on those? Um, the over or under. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> it depends where I'm playing. Yeah. For the airs, if I'm playing outfield. I would hope that it's under infield, probably but over. Outfield's uh, outfield. If you get a liner that's bouncing, though, it's pretty easy to bobble those, and that's an yeah, error. that's that's true. Yeah, well, maybe <laughs> maybe the over on that one. <laughs> I would personally take the over. On I'll that do one. the over on both of them. Yeah, I think you're gonna get over one and a half hits. Yeah, it'll probably just be like you know uh, infield singles it's, just being the throw oh, out. Come on, oh, yeah, because you're so fast. <laughs> Uh, we got. Did you a... know I hit a triple in my last slow pitch game, which was three weeks ago? But did still, you, did you think about stretching that one into an inside the parker? No, I shouldn't have thought about stretching it to a triple. <laughs> really? it, was, it was close. <laughs> close. Play. Did you slide? No, shorts. no, I was wearing shorts. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So that'll be that'll be exciting. If anybody uh, cares to hear our stat line, message us. We'll because we'll uh, the game is the game's Tuesday night, and you're listening to this Wednesday. So yep, we'll uh, we'll let you know. Absolutely. Great episode. We got to go because we got to call with Bet Stamp. More yeah. stuff coming to the app. And uh, we don't know what it is yet because we haven't made that call, but we will oh. uh, tell you guys about that next week. Jump Talk to the Moon. Peace. Great call, Dunk. Got a boy. Good to have you back, producer Dunk. Oh, thanks. Thanks for listening, everybody. Love you.